hey guys welcome back and this is constructions mcqs part second and i think previously we have answered about 10 questions and this time you're gonna answer about uh, 15 questions okay so without wasting time let's go ahead and we have question number 11 a wall constructed with stones to protect slopes of cutting in natural ground from the action of weathering agents is called retaining wall no retaining wall cannot be an option over here because the retaining wall is never built to protect slopes okay it is built to retain materials just like as you can see this guy okay just this one wait a minute this one okay uh the wall constructed at the down stream side of the road you can say this one this is a retaining wall so it is built to retain these failing materials okay not to protect the slopes okay however the breast wall is the correct answer over here just this one okay the the uh, the wall constructed at the upper stream side you can say are the wall uh, which is near to the uh, the the cutting side uh, or you can say okay so this wall i mean the breast wall is used to protect slopes okay of cutting in natural ground okay and uh, so so this is the correct option over here breast wall okay and the other things are not okay like buttress okay buttress are also um, supporting walls okay when uh, when we support other walls okay which have uh, many pressure or you can say horizontal force forces so these buttress are been constructed to uh, retain or to support the existing walls okay and parapet wall cannot be an option over here because these the, these are just uh, like a partitions walls okay these cannot protect slopes so the only thing we are happy and satisfied with is the breast wall okay so option b i mean the breast wall is the correct answer to the question 11. moving ahead by the question 12 here we have higher pitch of the roof uh, number first is results in the stronger roof results in weaker roof requires more covering material requires less covering material to answer this guy let's let's just study this diagram okay this diagram shows a, a roof okay or a slope roof okay no problem here uh, it is asking about the pitch pitch means just the angle which the roof is making with the horizontal line okay or uh, it can be rise to run ratio number first is results in the stronger roof of course yes this is correct when you increase the pitch value the roof will uh, be stronger okay and when you decrease the pitch value the roof will be weaker so option first is the correct option over here option second results in the weaker roof nope this is wrong option three that is requires more covering material yes when you increase the pitch it means the uh, the, the roof uh, length or breadth will be increased okay that's why we'll require more covering materials so option three is also correct over here option four requires less covering material when option three is correct then of course option four is not correct or it is wrong so we got option first and third is the correct answer to question 12 and which is of course option a in the answers just moving ahead for the question 13 and we got for different layers of cement concrete floor pick up the incorrect statement from the following incorrect okay not correct so let's study these guys option first the lowest layer consists of consolidated ground that's correct a 10 centimeter thick clean sand is laid on consolidated ground course it's also correct as you can see these are just the components okay are the layers of the floor okay like the subgrades sub base uh, base and the topping this time as you can see the 10 centimeter brick blast these represents of course the sub base and then the base represents the 10 centimeter 136 and the topping is the mosaic topping okay which is 5 centimeter so option b is also correct option c a 10 centimeter lime concrete 148 is laid on the clean sand 148 136 okay it means a a, a a not stronger concrete okay so this is also 
correct over here. Option D, a 10 centimeter thick cement concrete one to pour is laid on top layer. No, 10 centimeter cannot be, however it can be, okay, but mostly 10 centimeter is a huge video, that's why we cannot take this guy, okay, so option D cannot be correct over here, that is incorrect statement, so the answer to question 13 can be option D. Alright, next question and that is question 14, open test pit is only suitable up to a depth of 2 meters, 2.5 meters, 3 meters and none of the above, okay. So this test actually, I mean the open test pit, this is uh, just like a, an excavation, okay, just done, just look at this picture, okay, it is done to check the, the inside properties of the soil mass or you can say just to check the characteristics of the soil mass okay which is uh, situated inside the uh, the earth surface or just below the earth surface okay so this pit can be up to four meters okay so the, the, the answer to the question can be option d however i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna just uh, check the option c over here because many books and uh, when I just google this guy, it was 3 meters, however, it can be 4 meters, okay. So, as uh, I have studied in many places, is 3 meters, so I'm gonna uh, make sure this option, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy just with the option C over here, okay. So, option A is not correct, option B is not correct, option C is okay. So, uh, the depth of excavation for the test pit is... Uh, 3 meters okay it is suitable okay up to date all right question 15 and this is about service area the service area in a building means the area occupied by stairs toilet light and shafts all of the above okay so actually service area means just the custodial uh, i mean uh, the, the area used for the custodial supplies okay so stairs toilet, lights, shafts, okay, these are all custodials uh, areas are can be used as custodials uh, supplies, okay. So that's why I'm gonna take all of the above option over here, okay, because stairs, toilets, lights and shafts, these all are, uh, these, I mean, these belongs to custodial areas, I mean, to service areas. So option D is going to be the correct option over here. Okay, question 16 and that is about the flight. The number of steps, okay, in a flight generally should not be less than 2, 3, 5 are no limits. That's very interesting question, okay. Alright, so the correct answer to this question is three numbers. Option B, okay. So while constructing a stair, the steps per flight must not be less than three units, okay? All right, so the correct answer to question 16 is option B. That means three number of steps. Question 17, and it is about columns, okay, loads. The columns of multi-storied building are designed to withstand the forces due to dead loads, live loads, wind loads, all of these, <laughs> yes. Everybody can say it, okay, all of these, because um, when you design a building, the building should be able to support or withstand against these guys, okay, the dead load, live load, when loads, okay. So option D is the correct word here. Now question 18, in soils possessing low bearing capacity, the type of foundation generally provided is column footing, grillage footing, raft footing, all of the above. Yeah, it is the same question, okay. When bearing capacity is low, it means we can construct any of these guys, okay. The column footing, grillage footing, raft footing, these all guys are just the types of uh, shallow foundation. So the correct answer to question 18 may be the option D. However, still I'm gonna analyze these guys, okay. Columns footing, just these guys, you can say the isolated footings, okay. So when bearing capacity is low, you can construct or you can provide these guys, the grillage foundation or you can say uh, a, a, a foundation which receive loads at one point, okay. So this is also okay, grillage foundation where hair can work, okay. And rock foundation, 
okay or you can say mat foundation it is also known sometimes by mat foundation is a slab okay so when bearing capacity is low you can also provide this guy all right so the correct answer to question 18 is option d all right question 19 the minimum strength of model used in load bearing brick masonry is february 100 one february and 200 newton per square centimeter all right as you can see it is asking about load bearing brick masonry okay as i believe these masonry have thick walls okay and thick columns uh, built up masonry or bricks okay uh, pillars of rcc or pcc are never provided over here however it can be some time but never provided i think okay so is these walls are load bearing and the construction is load bearing that's why we should provide a strength martyr okay i believe i have seen in books and i have googled the answer to the question 19 is option b it means the minimum strength of martyr should be 100 newton per square centimeter okay this is compressive strength okay never a tensile strength okay all right question 20 is compared to stretcher course the thickness of joint and header course should be less more equal equal or more okay i'm satisfied and happy with option a but let's compare these guys okay as you can see this is stretcher bond okay when you place a stretcher bond layer on another layer as you can see we have a lot of space over here okay just as the stretcher side is always lengthy with respect to header so we have much space that's why we can provide a, a, a more okay space over here part thickness and in the header just look at this guy okay when you place one layer on another we do not have much space okay so as we do not have much space over here that's why we provide uh, a less thickness joint in the header course or in the header bond okay so i'm happy with option a which means uh, to compare structure course thickness of a joint in header course should be less okay that's so simple just question 21 to obtain good bonding in brick masonry first class bricks are used okay that's correct vertical joints in alternate course are kept in plumb line that means just uh, the it is it is just talking about these joints okay it means these joints should be vertically placed okay so that's also okay beds are used where necessary of course okay so i think the option d is okay over here all right because all of the above options are correct that's why i'm gonna say i'm happy with the option d in the question 21 all right moving ahead question 22 the type of pointing in which upper side of model joint is kept about 12 mm inside the face of the masonry and bottom is kept placed with face up wall is struck pointing yes i believe that okay and i think we have discussed about these guys in the previous video too so however let, let's see these guys okay just look at these pictures okay struck are you can say whether pointing just just look this guy okay it is it is just uh, kept about 12 mm it can be okay less or more not that much uh, with precision okay however 12 mm inside the masonry face okay just just look at this guy it is broad inside okay and the bottom is kept flesh it is just flesh with the face up wall just look at this this portion okay so it is just weather pointing or struck pointing okay all right so the correct answer to question is option c okay moving ahead for question 23 the wedge shape bricked farming in arch ring are called soffit base wall hunches spandrel of course the the correct answer to the question 23 may be option b okay because soffits are the you can say the under surface okay just just this surface okay it is a surface okay not a brick so option a cannot be however option b is correct if i'm pronouncing this guy correct waste were okay i don't know what's the correct pronunciation over here but option b waste were that is correct okay 
I mean these breaks okay just the wedge type breaks these are known by waist but okay I, I remember these guys so option B is correct to our hair and hunches spindle these are also of course the the parts are technical term about arches okay like hunches these are the lower half arch you can say okay just from this keystone toward this the, the springing line okay are up to these uh, you can say uh, up to up to up to up to up to what up to the skew bag skew bag is the last sloped uh, uh, face you can say okay and spindle of course spindle is just these triangular spaces are these triangular parts of the arch okay so it cannot be because spindle is not a break okay it is a portion or you can say it is a face all right so option b is correct to our hair waste bar okay all right question 24 the maximum total settlement for isolated footing on clay soil should be limited to 25 mm 40 mm 65 mm 100 mm all right honestly i don't know about this guy that's why i googled it and google said me about this guy which is 65 mm so okay the maximum total settlement i mean which should be 65 mm okay it should not increase this guy then it will be considered as a failure of the footing okay all right question 25 and it's about the foundation okay the foundation which consists of thick reinforced cement slab covering all area to support heavy concentrated structure load is known by I think rough foundation is the correct answer because rough foundation or mat foundation is always a, a whole slab you can say okay so the correct answer to question 25 may be option C okay because combined footing cannot be this guy okay it just look at this guy okay this picture represents a combined footing okay combined footing can be a footing for or a slab for uh, one two three or uh, something else okay more than three columns okay but not a whole slab it cannot be a whole slab for the total structure okay so this is not the correct option over here and option b strap footing this cannot be an option over here because strap footing has strap beam okay and uh, beam is not a slab okay it is talking about a cement slab covering all area okay and strap footing does not cover all area that's why option b is also not correct to our hair however rough foundation or rough footing is the correct guy your hair okay and it is also known by mat foundation okay it is a continuous or continuous slab that's 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 correct so option c over here is the correct answer to question 25 all right and that's it now the only thing you can do is to wait for part three okay so just wait for that guy and hey if you like these types of videos please hit that subscribe button press the bell icon and never miss an update from engineer boy